Dry eye is a condition that can not only make our eyes feel bad, but actually affect our vision. It can make your vision get worse the longer you read. It can cause double vision and just make your vision um, blurry throughout the day. Some good moments, some bad moments. Dry is my specialty because of how much it affects us. It's a chronic condition. It affects so many aspects in our life between being uncomfortable, between not being able to see, not being able to enjoy the things we do, like stare at our phone for hours on end. I love treating dry eye, uh, mainly because we're able to actually work at fixing the cause of our dry eye and not just treat our symptoms like has been the case in the past. When treating dry eye, I want to make sure that we undo the effects that we've had of our dry eye for the previous years, but then fix the cause of our dry eye so it's not something we have to continually deal with. All the time, I want to make sure my patient's burden of treatment is as minimal as possible. Those patients that have mild dry eye, they're often ones that just have some intermittent symptoms, whether just discomfort or vision that's in and out blurry and clear. Uh, at the earliest uh, stages of dry eye, you may only need some artificial tears for those situations like looking at our computer screen or driving, looking at our phone, that symptoms show up then. Um, but very quickly, you need to move into um, interventional things that keep your dry from progressing and causing loss of structures that we won't ever be able to get back. At that point, we have moderate dry eye for sure, where the front surface of our eye is no longer as healthy as it should be. A rough surface instead of one that's slick and smooth. Uh, we look into that by doing different scans, tests, inflammation tests, test the quality of our tears, and really investigate the front surface of our eye. Um, at that point, our physical eye health is being affected, and we definitely need to intervene so that we don't develop worsening symptoms later on. Uh, so with patients with a severe dry eye, then we're looking at real impacts upon our eye's health, not just feeling bad, but things that need to be stopped to not progress further to have dangerous eye conditions like ulcers and things like that. With severe dry patients, we may simply be burny all the time, uncomfortable eyes that never stop. And at this point, we need to make sure that we're definitely focusing on the cause of our dry eye, but definitely undoing the damage done from that dry eye, often looking to regenerative healing with amniotic membranes, or even drops that can be made out of our own blood to help heal our eyes. Here at Eye Surgeons of Indiana, we thankfully have all the tools necessary to take care of our patient's dry eye. We can treat with procedures like tear care, uh, low-level light therapy, intense pulsed light. Um, we can clean up our lids with treatments like Zest and Blefex, and then we can heal the front surface of our eye with regenerative healing with amniotic tissues. One of my favorite patients uh, that I think of my think of dry success stories was a little lady police officer I had. And she was always miserable with her dry eye and not able to focus on the things that she needs to do in her career. But in treating her dry eye and fixing the cause of her dry eye, I was able to make eyes not something that she thinks about. Um, we took care of her dry eye by focusing on the problem, which was that the oil glands within our lower lids were all clogged up. So in treating that and getting those oil glands open up, we gave her stable tears to actually fix the problem of her dry eye so that this wasn't a continual chronic issue for her. When you come into Eye Surgeons of Indiana for a dry evaluation, uh, we're gonna make sure that we figure out what's causing our dry eye. It's an easy, non-dilated appointment. We're gonna run many tests that probably have never had before, uh, where we're gonna measure your inflammation level within your eyes. We're gonna measure the composition of your tears. We'll get a scan of the inside of our lids to see what our oil glands look like and put a yellow dye in our eye that I call highlighter because it lets me see what's going on. It lets me see how long your tears last. Oftentimes tears last a shockingly low amount of time, just zero seconds sometimes. But if we're only blinking six times in a minute when we're doing anything we enjoy, like looking at our phone, those tears need to last 10 seconds, but oftentimes they don't last any seconds. <laughs>